name is Victoria Fernandez and welcome to my channel, I live to inspire mental health. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I post weekly videos about mental health and my experience with bipolar disorder. So in this week's video, I'm actually going to answer a question that I was asked um, regarding, you know, what it feels like or how do I know whenever I'm having a hypomanic episode or am I just happy. So obviously if you have bipolar disorder 2 or if you've lived with somebody who has bipolar disorder 2, you might notice that this person has different kinds of uh, like mood elevations or they act a different way and sometimes it's hard to tell if it's really because it's like genuine happiness or because we're having an episode. So I used to get a lot of these episodes, especially before I was medicated and when I was on my first medication. And basically, it was like out of nowhere. So I remember before I was ever medicated, the first time I went to a doctor, I would tell them like, I felt like I was getting my period twice a month. Like that's how my moods were going. Like I was here and then I was up here and then I was like, I was fine and then I was sad and I was crying. And that's kind of, I think that's one of the ways that they were like, okay, this is it, just depression. Um, and so, I mean, as, as time went on, obviously I developed a lot of self-awareness, like understanding myself, um, seeing when I was acting kind of odd. And I can tell you that um, around, I don't know, two years ago, I was able to literally be like, I think I'm having an episode right now. And it was those symptoms, like it was very specific symptoms that would tell me that I was not just happy. So what were they? Well, basically, um, I could be extremely sad. I could be like on the ground having a full out panic attack, crying, not like my face feeling completely numb. And then something small happens that would probably make anybody make like make their day feel better. For example, I would FaceTime my boyfriend, right? Um, and I would get happy, but it wasn't a normal type of happy. It wasn't just like, Oh, like I feel so much better and I stopped crying. It was like, whoa, like I was so happy. I wanted to dance and sing and I was on top of the world. And I remember when we would hang up, I would go to my roommate and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like I can do anything. Like I'm gonna chase all my dreams. I have all these ideas. And it was like, I felt so confident and powerful. And like, I could do things greater than life. Um, of course, like that felt great. <laughs> that felt amazing because suddenly I wasn't sad anymore and I was just extremely happy. But then I felt kind of this rush, right? It was just kind of, my world was sort of distorted at that moment. Everything was heightened. Of course, these episodes did not last very long for me. Um, I think it's the depressive episodes were much more prevalent. Um, and these episodes only happened once in a while. Uh, but it was those things. And I believed I was happy until I started becoming more self-aware. And I was like, okay, is it reasonable for me to feel this way? Is there a reason for me to not sleep at night? I literally could not sleep. Like I was coming up with ideas, like ideas for what maybe this YouTube channel could look like. This was way before I had even like published videos, um, ways of helping people, things I wanted to do, like places I wanted to go around the world and I would look up pictures and like this at like three in the morning when I had to wake up at seven in the morning the next day for class. And then I would be falling asleep in class because I just couldn't handle it all. And so it was, it was, it came to a point where my roommate, uh, I would tell her, I think I'm having an episode. And she was like, yeah, I think so too. Because it was just those things that were like, I shouldn't be this happy for something so small. So whenever I, I did have this like kind of argument with myself, like, am I happy or am I like having these type of episodes? Same thing with sadness. Am I sad? Or like did something really sad happen and therefore I'm like this? Or is it because of what I have? And that's I think a very difficult struggle that a lot of people probably go through because it's just like this huge identity crisis. Like you wanna know if it's okay to feel these things. You wanna know if it's like, if it's something that's genuine that you're feeling and it's not the mental illness. And um, basically I just, the small thing that I notice is 
whenever I'm genuinely happy, my thoughts aren't rushing. My thoughts aren't rushing. I might have trouble sleeping, but I'm not gonna have insomnia. Like I'm not going to like full out for several days, not be able to sleep. It might just be one night because I mean, if you're graduating, you're super excited. If you have a new job, you might be super excited, but it doesn't go beyond that one day. Um, or it's not inside, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, I'm nervous about something so I can't sleep. It's literally like idea after idea after idea after idea. Like I could take out my phone and write so many things on it that I just, I could not go to sleep until I had those things written, until I, I could develop those ideas. And another thing is that throughout those times, again, idea developing came at night literally no like during the day i wanted to sleep during the day i didn't want to do anything else i couldn't concentrate at school anything but when it came tonight my mind just like flipped on and i just had all these ideas all these things and i wanted to tell people about about them so badly like i remember i would text my boyfriend like in the middle of the night and i'd be like hey like i have this amazing idea i don't want to forget about it and i would text my roommate or like go talk to her so it was like a lot of that now, then as you start realizing those things, for example, this year I did my internship with Google. The night before I couldn't sleep because I was so nervous and excited, but it didn't go above that. And I also realized that this is a huge moment that I should definitely be excited about, but my mood wasn't so elevated that I was feeling like everything was a distortion and that I could do anything I wanted in this world. It was just, it was a more, you know, like, it made sense. I'm excited and it makes sense why I'm excited, but it's not too much. So that's really the main thing that I do to kind of realize when something is me or something is my mental illness. Of course, I have been stable for a really long time. I have been taking my medications. I've been getting help. So those episodes don't really come along. They haven't in a really long time. Uh, but when they do, it's just that like elevation of thoughts that rush through my head and this whole happiness that I just want to be on top of the world. Um, of course, most of, those, most of those things don't really lead anywhere. I don't, I never really went out and actually did something. Um, it probably like, it was an impulse to want to do things, but, and I never like put myself in danger or anything like that. So I hope this helps in some way, or at least it makes you like, relate more or you know understand that like how to realize if it's like you know measurable why am i feeling like this is it too much or is it okay like is it fine you know what i mean like self like analyze read the situation and that's gonna help you realize what's going on and if maybe you should talk to somebody about it also that's another thing ask people around you like my roommate got pretty good at like realizing and say my parents and my boyfriend realizing where something was just not <laughs> not okay um but after a while i was just fine i became more stable and like i said before i don't really have those episodes anymore at least not very often so again i hope that this video helped in some way and that you liked it and if you did please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe share this video with somebody who you might think needs to watch it and comment what you think about it what you want me to talk about next or any other thoughts so with that always remember that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and a bad day does not mean a bad life